hello so let us let us work more on the profile and arcs and circles and let us leave let us see what else options the scatia have to make uh, different types of geometry so i have selected the profile and like i said earlier you can keep on making consecutive lines but with profile you can also make arcs which are connected to the last line you made so if you just click and hold the last point you made and then move it in the direction you want the second point of the arc to be it is going to create an arc which is tangent to the last point you made so i'm going to show this oops if i have to show this again i selected profile make the first line and once you click the end point of the first line click and hold and then bring the cursor to the point where you want the arc to end it's going to create an arc so this is very quick and easy way of creating arcs using the profile uh, tool the next tool which i'm going to show is uh, the three point arc so we have seen the three point circle three point arc is basically you select the three points but instead of a circle it makes an arc so you select one two and three so you selected three points but the uh, section between the first point and the third point has been cut so you still have a, a circular element but it is an arc okay this is three point arc now if you select the other option three point arc starting with limits so basically the difference between these two is let me just demonstrate it you select this uh, it has an arrow in between so what you do is you in this option you are selecting the limits first so you you clicked once then you click the second time then the third time here you are first selecting the limits and then positioning the third point which is constrained by the two limits but here you are selecting the first point second point and third point here the first and third point you select are the limits whereas here the first and second point you select are the limits that is the difference just to demonstrate it again let's make two lines and then see so i have made two lines over here and i want to connect these two lines with an arc so i select this option i select the end point of the first line then select the end point of the second line and then i make i select the third point so this is with the option three point arc starting with limits now the same thing if i want to do with the other option if i just remove this If I select three point arc and do the same thing, select the end point of the first line and then select the end point of the second line. See, it's not going to create the same type of arc. It's going to create a different type of arc. So that is the difference. Based on what type of arc you want, you can select the option. Now the third type of circle is if say if you are having uh, three lines. We are having some three lines in space, and you want to make a circle which is tangent to all the three lines: this line, this line, as well as this line. Okay, this has turned out to be quite. Okay, if I just reposition the lines, it's going to show me the tangent. So basically, this circle is tangent to this line, this line, and this line. It created a circle tangent to all the three lines. Uh, this option does that and then circle using coordinates is basically you enter the center coordinate of the circle say i am entering 50 mm comma 50 mm and the radius of the circle is just going to create the circle based on that 